Hey everyone, this is Lutz and welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a web server on your Raspberry Pi. So, let's go! So the first thing we always have to do before we install new software is to check that we have the right version on our system. So the latest and created. So what we do is we say sudo apt-get install update. And then we hit enter. In my case I did this previous to this video so I don't need to do this right now. What I need to do now is to install the package of the Apache server. So this is the same command. You say sudo apt-get install and then you say Apache two and you say yes because you don't want to confirm it again and you give the sudo password and then it starts with the installation this will take a second and i'll be back when it's finished so after the installation the service is already running so we can go to the file where the website is stored so this is in here and then we can see our document. It's the index.html. Uh, we can check if the website is available. We go for our IP address of the Raspberry. And then we see the initial website is here. So next thing what we can do is that we use a nano to change the index file just for showing that it's really working. So we search for the title of the website. The title the website is a bit bigger. So we go here and then we just write loads initial site, write it out and close it. And then when we do an update here, it's called initial site. So there's a typo in, but it doesn't matter. So the next thing we're going to do is to install PHP. We do this with sudo apt install library patch 2 their mod and PHP say yes this also will take a while so i'll be back when it's finished so i forgot there's a second package we want to install so it's sudo apt install php and after this one we are able to use php on our web server so now we can go to the website And here we need now to remove this index file. So we type sudo remove index. So now it's gone. Not be available anymore. And then we make a new one, which is index.php. And then we type something in like this this is loads and we write it out and check on our website and here is now the PHP content so now you can do more or less everything what you can do with a web server. Just one tip at the end, if you want to change something in the file, it maybe makes sense that you change the owner of the file. So you just give it your name and the user group you're in and then you just change it. And then you can directly make changes within your user. So it's just can enter it and you can type something else just here and write it out and then you have the permission to change this so 
So that's all for today. I think that's quite easy to set up a web server on a Raspberry Pi and can help you to your projects. So if you liked the video, here are one of my others. And see you next time. Goodbye.